Dogs are the flippin' best. I don't care what you cat lovers out there have to say. They can be your best friends, security guards, psychiatrists, and life companion, all rolled into one furry licky package. They can also be used in other fields, such as medicine, and yes, even the military. Not all breeds have what it takes to be dogs in uniform, though. As the saying goes, the military only accepts the best of the best of the best. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. From a Russian breed with a shady past to THE undefeated king of military canines, here are 10 of the ultimate military and police dog breeds in the world. Number 10. The Black Russian Terrier. The Black Russian Terrier is a young breed with a deep and rich, although partially unknown, genealogic history. As its name implies, the breed's country of origin is Russia. The Black Russian Terrier was developed in the early 1950s by the Russian military. More specifically, they were developed for the former Soviet Army's Red Star Kennel. They are a large, shaggy, and strong breeds, specifically bred for military purposes, mainly for guarding. They are dominant and need experienced handlers. They were bred with breeds which were particularly used in world wars, like the Giant Schnauzer, Aerodale Terrier, and the Rottweiler, among others having 17 to 20 dog breeds in their bloodline. However, how exactly they were bred is still unknown. This is due to the breed's military origins and limited access to classified information during and after the breed's very complex development over a period of years. They have good stamina suitable for working in stressful and harsh conditions. They're also used as patrol dogs, guarding military bases, sentry dogs, detection dogs, and search and rescue dogs. Number 9. The Bavora des Flandres. The Bouvier des Flandres is a large and powerful herding dog with a tasseled harsh coat. These rugged looking dogs were first bred for herding and driving cattle in Flanders, an area that used to cover parts of Belgium. During World War I, Flanders became a battleground and Bouviers took a whole new line of work. They instead carried messages and pulled ambulance litters. Many dogs were lost during the fighting and the breed nearly did become extinct. Thankfully, a few dedicated people saved the Bouvier when they brought dogs to France and the Netherlands. Bouviers were also introduced in North America in the late 1920s. These brave dogs served again during World War II, and the breed again became endangered. Bouviers are still holding jobs today. You might find them working at a farm in many of the traditional ways, or instead serving humans in new positions, such as police dogs, search and rescue dogs, military dogs, or guide dogs for the hearing impaired or the visually impaired. Number 8. The Giant Schnauzer. The Giant Schnauzer, or the Reichen Schnauzer in German, is a large purebred with talents in several areas. Just some of these areas include guarding, police work, tracking, agility, military work, and competitive obedience. They were also originally bred for hunting and taking down moose. The dogs have been used by European law enforcement agencies in Spain and Hungary for nearly a hundred years. During World War II, German forces used this breed as tracking and sentry dogs. The Giant Schnauzer is a loyal and protected dog, as it is alert and smart and will bark to let you know of any intruders. Because of that protective instinct, it'll also be bold and act to guard and defend you and the family. However, because of its potential for aggression and its stubborn nature, this is not the best dog for new owners. In most cases, this is a quiet dog with a hidden playful nature. Some can be more serious and reserved, and some are more outgoing and sweet. It is territorial and is wary around strangers, even suspicious. If not well socialized and trained, that suspicion can be more likely to lead to snapping and aggression. Number 7. The Labrador Retriever We tend to think of dogs used in the Vietnam War as being German Shepherds, but Labrador Retrievers were also there. Yeah, it actually kind of surprised me too. Seems that old Yeller isn't just an icon on the screen. This classic American breed also fights side by side with the American Armed Forces. While German Shepherds filled the ranks as scout dogs, Labs were favored as tracker dogs after the successful experience of the British. Labs were great-tempered, tolerated the heat very well, and favored the dead scent of ground stiffing. Their alerts were often nuanced, as a tail wag, an ear twitch, a head tilt, or simply stopping. In 1966, the British government agreed to train the U.S. Army's first tracker dog to their jungle warfare school at Johorabaru, Malaysia. They also provided the 63rd Infantry Detachment Combat Tracker with its first three dogs, Bruce, Lucky, and Sambo. The dogs earned immediate success for quickly showing the difference they could make between life and death. Number 6. The Beagle Don't let these little guys be underestimated compared to their shepherd friends. Beagles may not be trained in both protection and stiffing, but their powerful nose makes up for what lacks in strength and intimidation. The Beagle is known as being one of the greatest sniffers around. 
These scent hounds are popularly used in airports, sniffing out contraband, weapons, and drugs, as their less intimidating looks allow for them to move through busy areas relatively unnoticed. Beagles are also a great choice as narcotic sniffer dogs due to their great work ethic and as search and rescuers, thanks to their smaller size which makes them ideal for navigating smaller areas that would be difficult for humans or larger dog breeds. In just the United States alone, beagles are responsible for seizing over 180,000 pounds of prohibited foods being smuggled into the country. Number 5. The Boxer The Boxer is one of the most versatile war dogs that the world has ever seen. They served in both world wars, used as effective patrol dogs, guard dogs, and messengers for the military. A truly working breed, boxers were originally bred to be an all-purpose farm dog. They are diligent dogs with acute instincts and above-average intelligence, qualities that make them almost perfect military dogs. One of their specialties was in transporting communication wires between groups on the battlefield. These spools of wires connected to their collars, which they then delivered to different sections of the battlefield. Boxers were veritable heroes during both world wars. Fortunately, they're mainly companions and family dogs today. However, the German police force still use them for certain operations to this very day. They aren't as popular in law enforcement anymore, mainly because of health issues, but they're still fully capable dogs for intense situations. Number 4. The Belgian Malinois The Belgian Malinois is the smaller, leaner cousin of the German Shepherd. Believe it or not, they're even more athletic than the German Shepherd due to their smaller physique. However, they still hold many of the same physical and personality traits as their larger counterparts. So it's no surprise that this breed has become popular canine dogs as well. In addition to the canine unit, this fearless breed has become increasingly used by the military for operations of all kinds. For example, a Belgian Malinois named Cairo is a military working dog used by the Navy SEAL Team 6. If that unit's name rings a bell, that's because they were responsible for the world's most important counter-terrorist mission of the time. Back during World War I, these dogs were primarily used as messengers and ambulance dogs. In addition to police and military operations, the Malinois is also used for search and rescue therapy as well. Number 3. The Bloodhound The Bloodhound is a dog breed that you can easily imagine running with the likes of a stereotypical police or military dog. However, they do have a very specific role for law enforcement, which is tracking people and narcotics. And believe me, no other dog does it better. Their ability to isolate a specific scent and follow it over long distances make them such valuable dogs. In fact, bloodhounds arguably have the best nose in the biz, with beagles and basset hounds coming in at a close second. Their sense of smell is a thousand times better than a human's. This breed was the very first to be commissioned by a police unit for their services. They've been working with police since 1889 when they were used to try and track down Jack the Ripper in London. Today, there are fewer bloodhounds working in canine, but we have them to thank for keeping dangerous and illicit substances from the streets. And now it's time for the day's best pick. We have two dogs as our picks today, and both are renowned as fierce protectors of life and property. But do they make great military or police dogs? Find out next with number two, the Doberman Pinscher and the Rottweiler. The Doberman Pinscher is a large muscular dog with a slim frame and cropped ears. They're known to be tenaciously loyal and obedient to their owners, which make them such great guard dogs. They're also extremely intelligent dogs, coming in as the fifth most intelligent dog breed. With both the brains and brawn, it's a no-brainer why these dogs were once heavily used by the police force. Although the Doberman was once a popular canine breed, they are becoming less prevalent in canine police units around the world. They're more of a family guard dog today. Not because they're inferior to the number one breed in our list, oh no. It's just that they're generally costlier to acquire. Roddies, on the other hand, are such versatile dogs when it comes to jobs. Known to be the ideal guard dog, a Roddy will love familiar people, but act cautious and alert around strangers. Make no mistake, they are confident and reliable dogs. Because of this, Rottweilers are currently used as guard dogs, police dogs, search and rescue, and military dogs. They have a long history of being the premier messenger dog for the U.S. military. During both world wars, these dogs were sent from base to base to deliver urgent messages. It's no surprise why military generals decided to send Rottweilers instead of other hundreds of dog breeds available. They're impossibly courageous, loyal, and dependable. However, being the second most dangerous dog in the U.S. does tarnish their reputation a little bit. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The German Shepherd. Could there be anybody else? 
German Shepherds are the third most intelligent dog breeds. Combined with an athletic body, large stature, muscular frame, and agile speed, they've become the gold standard for police dogs. Not only do they have the remarkable physical gifts to be great police dogs, but they're also highly trainable and immensely loyal. Plus, they can be aggressive when needed. Originally bred as herding dogs, they are now a staple of canine units all over the world, and their jobs consist of several duties. German Shepherds excel in search and rescue missions, detecting drugs and or explosives, crime scene investigation, or even chasing down people in high-stress criminal chases. These confident and smart dogs have the ability to learn an arsenal of verbal cues and hand gestures that correspond to a specific task. They're so highly respected that any attempt to injure or kill them is a criminal offense in most states. Do you think your dog is the chops to be a good military or police dog? Let us know down below in the comments! Also make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content. We upload new videos every day, so I'm sure you'll never run out of videos to watch. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time! Later, everybody!